Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Vol Experience walkthrough of both mission space sites. So first, we're going to start with the green and then the orange. So pretty much the queue is the same, so we're going to go through the green queue. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to go through the queue, the green side, then the pre-show of the green side, and then from the green side mission, and then the orange side pre-show, and then the orange side mission, and the shop. Here we go. So if you have any motion sickness or dizziness, I'd strongly recommend doing the green side instead of orange. Orange does spin, but green here doesn't. So have no fear, my friends. And this is a little bit similar to Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run over at Hollywood Studios. That was my Hondo Anaka impression. Uh, if you are uncertain whether orange to you, more intense training is right for you. We strongly encourage you to select green. Here we go. Or proceed to the advanced Here we go, the green side. <laughs> Just one. How many? Just one. All right, I'm gonna have you on team number one. How many? Team number three. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest <laughs> adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another, even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet, training. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your Green Team Less Intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight simulators that produce sensations of acceleration. Those who are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. If you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, Report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Next radio check will be at 0800 hours. Proceed to flight stations. Rows 5 and 6. Rows 4 and 7. Rows 3 and 8. Rows 2 and 9. Rows 1 and 10.
Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the Earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. You're gonna love it. T-minus three minutes and counting. Okay, listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll be adjusting the pitch of the X-2 if necessary, and firing thrusters for your descent. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You'll also be triggering the landing sequence. Commander, you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control if needed. Engineer, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Young cadets wearing a lanyard will need a special X2 booster to train for this mission. When you enter the capsule, insert the booster as shown. Once you have secured all cargo, help your young cadets lower their restraints. Then take your seat, reach up, and pull down your restraint. After you have completed your mission, remove your X2 booster and place it in the recovery bin on your way out. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Earth Team. You are on the clock. To infinity and beyond. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y guíe a sus agentes. Gracias. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer. If needed, specific bags are located on the instrument panel. This is Mission Control. We are still waiting for clearance to launch. Everything is A-OK, -okay, and countdown should resume shortly. Good luck, team. All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey around the planet. Oh, no, no. 
China, you'll pass Beijing, the Great Wall, and we've got reports of a storm growing over the Gobi Desert. side once again this side does spin so if you have any motion sickness or dizziness or do not want to spin on the right at all just go to the green side or opt out it's your decision here we go easy ones literally this one's standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your Orange Team more intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight simulators that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and g-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense, and if you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Five. 
rows seven and four. Rows eight and three. Team more intense training. If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform crew member for directions to the green team less intense training area. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballas Mariners. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. Minus three minutes and counting. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you will activate hypersleep. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest. Keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Follow the markings Attention, on the floor trainers. to raise two trainers. Follow the basic dispatch. Right, 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 team. All of us here at Mission Control are proud to be a part of this historic liftoff. Engineer, activate hyperslip. 
sleep. Now. Activated. Average sleep duration. Three months. Monitoring. Rise and shine. Let's go, team. We've got a problem. Beginning invasive meteors. This meteor storm is directly over your Mars landing site. Proximity alert. Pilot, deploy the shield. Now. sides of the ride orange and green i honestly prefer green because that's the one i grew up with well i love the orange i like the green better since it's the one i grew up with and it's less intense so well this is the advanced training lab for those who aren't tall enough for mission space yet there's the space base playground the mission roster Mission Space Race, Expedition Mars, and Postcards from Space. And here's the gift shop. Pins, keychains, lanyards, and space play sets, and candies, and stuff from Star Wars. And during your Disney World visit, this ride you must visit. Yeah, I'm trying to work on my Yoda impression. Anyways, this was Mission Space, both sides. Hang on. <laughs> so anyways, this was both sides of Mission Space. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. To infinity and beyond. See you real soon.